What is up, YouTube? Thrift School over here, long time no speak. Um, thrift store's still closed. It's May, what, 6th today? May 7th today, holy moly. Everything's still closed, um, but there are still local deals to be had. Uh, I've been doing a lot of online arbitrage, and that will be a video for the future, but I'm going to pick up, you guys can see right here, uh, 200 plus music cassette tapes and they wanted a dollar each plus these bins they were looking for like what 220 dollars or something like that i offered 100 dollars and they said yes awesome so i'm driving up to enfield connecticut which is right on the border of massachusetts by springfield uh so it's it's a bit of a drive it's about an hour away or so we said we'd meet at 12 30 it's 11 30 right now uh so i should get there right on time Hopefully it's a good deal, guys. I'm going in it blind. I didn't look up a single cassette. I just saw some bands that I noticed. I've actually been selling cassettes pretty well. Um, I just sold one today for like $15. I sold one the other day for 30. So I'm just hoping that there's a few of those in this lot. All I need are, you know, four $25 cassettes and we're set. We have 200 more to go through. So this should be interesting. Let's go. Let's hope we find some good stuff. I cannot wait for thrift stores to reopen for tag sales and garage sales to come back. But hey, who knows? Still need a haircut. It's been uh, quarantine living for me and uh, no barber shops will be open for about another three weeks. So yeah. Oh, I have my mask with me also. I bought a couple of these masks to do some yard work when I was cutting trees down and not trees, but like weeds and vines and bushes and stuff in my yard. And I bought these maybe two weeks before everything went to crap. And yeah, I'm so glad I've had these because we got the good ones, the N95s, and I'm just happy to have them. Makes me feel a little safe doing these pickups. Here we go. This is one of the best views along this drive. They have it all blocked off because you're not allowed to be at parks or whatever in the state, but you can kind of see out there. It gets really cool when you come around this corner here. There's also a big lake out that way, but you come around here and they have this cool little watchtower type thing, castle. I don't know what it is. There it is. Pretty cool. Lots of people take pictures there. It's really pretty. And you can go hiking like way down in there. But I love it out here. It's such a nice part of the state. It's not too far from home. So come up here whenever I want. And normally it's jam packed with people. But again, everything is still shut down in Connecticut. We still have a ways to go. Uh, I'll be there at 12.24, it's 11.50, so let's keep it going. Quite possibly one of the most beautiful cars ever. All right, this town is gorgeous. I've never been to this town before in my life. Bloomfield, it's just so beautiful here. All right, guys, we are back at the house. This is everything I picked up. These are two full-size um, cassette kind of holders filled. And then we also have a puppy. Hi, Soph. Hi, baby. I haven't even seen her yet. I was waiting for her to come to the door. You're such a good girl. Oh my gosh, you look so pretty on the camera right now. Good girl. Um, also, they shut down all the bottle returns, so it's kind of overflowing. I already have bags and bags. <laughs> I'm starting to run out of space. Um, but back to these cassettes. Now we have these two full rows. We have this right here, which is only singles and a few um, picture sleeves with 33s, which is kind of cool. And this shoe box right here is full. We have some good things in there's some mix. So see, there's some um, burned ones, which I can't do anything with. This is something that somebody made. Can't do anything with that. But then there's some really good stuff in here. Like here's the cars and Eric Clapton and the Eagles, their greatest hits. There's some good stuff in here. Um, here's a good one right here. The Clash, um, Joan Jett, Boston, Michael Jackson Thriller. I just sold this exact cassette. Uh, not much. I think I got like nine bucks for it, but still, it's not bad. Um, Judas Priest, which is nice. You definitely want to look out for old metal. 
sells very well. Uh, we got Motley Crue in here. Let's see what we have under here. Some Bruce Springsteen, 38 Special, Alabama. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to look up a few of these, and I'll bring up the camera. We also have a bottle of wine I found in my car. It was rolled underneath the seat. I don't even remember buying that. That's how long it's been in my car. So that was kind of funny. Um, <laughs> let's... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull out my phone, look things up on the Amazon seller app and um, and eBay. You know, these sell well on both platforms. And I'm going to see if I can find any in here that are worth good money. And I will pull up the camera and show you guys when I find one. All right. So this is how many I've scanned. Not that much in the grand scheme of things. And we have our first good winner. There's a couple in here where I'll make a couple bucks on it. But here is our first big winner, Guns N' Roses. There we go. Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. It's in there, everything looks good and clean. You guys can see, it's not actually going for 75, that's jacked up. It's going closer to the 20 range, because you can see new is coming in at 40, used, one person's shooting for the moon. You're really th realistically gonna get between 20 and $25 for this. Decent rank, 64,000 in music. So there we go, um, we can look up exactly what I'll get after fees, let's say I price it um, I've been doing a lot of seller fulfilled right now because Amazon's not accepting a lot of stuff still. So let's just say we seller fulfill it for uh, $19.99 plus shipping. Our shipping to the customer, let's just say on average, well, it's media mail, so it'll be $280. Cost of purchase, you know, whatever it ends up being with all the winners. But we spent $100 on everything. But this is $15, almost $16 right here in profit. So we have, what, 85 more dollars to make. Let's keep it going. So here's the Michael Jackson Thriller. We're scanning a few more. And you guys can see pretty decent rank in music. Uh, 82,000 in music right there. Uh, used, it's not actually selling for 30. You can see brand new, it's selling for 33. Used, somebody just priced really high. But if you click on it, you can see Merchants are coming in at what six seven eight nine twelve fourteen. I'm sure you could get close to like fourteen dollars for this guy So if if I'm able to ship this into Amazon FBA, we're looking at about a you know eight to ten dollar profit Hopefully not bad keep scanning. I'll show you guys how I scan. I'll pull up my little barcode scanner right there pull out an item the ones that don't have barcodes, I'm not even scanning. We'll look those up later. But this is cool. Helix, well, what we can do, actually, we can click on this little camera icon up here. And we could scan it. It should pop up. Let's see. So there's the record, record, CD, CD, CD. So what I'd have to do is type it in. So, you know what, we'll type it in. All right, so I typed it in. It's not going for much. Also, the rank is very high, 851,000 in music and 699. So it's not really going for much. This is something I'd probably do a lot, right? So I got some good good bands in here. Boston, um, Silk and Steel, I think that is GTR. Guifria, I don't know, there's GTR right there. And I could bundle Genesis, I could bundle some of this together on eBay and do like bulk lots. But let's keep scanning. All right, we found another winner, scanning through the second row right here, David Bowie, Let's Dance. There it is, good rank. Coming in at 20 bucks. There's another $12 profit right here. So we're, let's just say this is about a $10 profit to make it easy. So what is that, 10? 20 ish plus what was this like 15 so we're at 35 dollars just about in three cassettes still have a lot more to scan all right here's another interesting one i just scanned iron eagle now has a bit of a high rank 399,000 in music it'll sell just take a little while but selling for 17 dollars so another 10 bucks we are at 45 dollars now let's keep it going all right, so I couldn't find this one anywhere, this Journey Escape for some reason. Got to look a little deeper for that, but I did find another Journey one, Journey Frontiers. And now, this is definitely a high rank, 520000 in music. $40, new coming in at 80 40 merchants are coming in at 15 Well, there's one guy at 15 one guy at 40 so who knows what this actually sells for. Let's just 
say another 10 bucks or so profit. So what were we at? 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, 55, somewhere around there-ish. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. So 55 bucks, still got a lot to go through. All right, we actually had another one of these same journey ones, so we could throw another 10 bucks on there. These will take a while to sell from what it looks like, but hey, we're at $65. And I think we have, yeah, we have another one of those escape ones as well as this guy. So what I might do is do like a lot of journey cassettes. So that one, that one, and one of these over on eBay. See what I could get for them. I'm not sure yet, but uh, we could say that we're at 65 bucks right here, give or take. Let's keep scanning. All right, we have another winner, the Cindy Lauper right here. Pretty good rank, 177,000 in music. 37 bucks, but the merchants are coming in at seven. Let's click through and take another look. Yeah, seven, 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 lots of seven. So that 37 is definitely overpriced. I'm sure you could sell it for about 15, so we'll just pop in 14.99. And about $8, we could even round that up to 10 just to make it easy because I know one of these was 12 and I'm counting it at 10 right now, so. Uh, we're at 65, 75 bucks. Uh, this first one's almost done, so hopefully we could find enough to make all of our money back just on this first bin. Again, some of these didn't have barcodes, so I didn't scan them. A few that did that weren't worth it or just not showing up, that happens. We have a bunch of Loverboy right here, so I can make a lot on eBay. I think I had like five or six different Loverboy cassettes, so that I can make its own. But let's keep scanning. Here we go, this Madonna Like a Prayer cassette right here. Bit of a high rank, 338 in music, but coming in at 14 bucks, another $8 right there. What were we at? 75, maybe like 83 or so. Let's keep scanning. Another decent one and another Madonna one. True Blue, 206,000 in music, coming in at $15. Merchants are coming in a little low, but. It's not too bad. News coming in at 43, so another eight-ish dollars. So where we at 83, we could just say 90. We'll bring that down a little bit. We're almost there. We're almost at the break even. See, these ones that don't have um, barcodes, I'm just kind of throwing them off to the side. I'll deal with them later. Just dealing with some of the easier stuff now so I could throw some stuff in an FBA shipment or just get it listed as a merchant. And just try and get the money back ASAP. This has a very high rank, 518,000. If it was selling for like a lot of money, yeah, I'd probably do something with it, but $7 isn't something I really want to mess with. There's another one of the same guy, Dave Mason. I've actually never heard of Dave Mason, so maybe his stuff's not worth much. Honestly, I don't know, but I could always make a lot. Let's see what we got. Yeah, not even showing up, that's fine. That's what's going to happen with a bunch of cassettes. Not all of them are going to have Amazon listings. Here we go. What even is this? Doobie Brothers, I know them. Didn't show up, so deal with that later. Motley Crew. there we go. Theater of Pain, actually I think this isn't worth much. I feel like I've sold this before though. Oh no, it actually is worth a little bit, not bad, okay. Uh, decent rank, not horrible, 209000 in music. Selling for $11, I'd make about 5 bucks on this guy. Alright, what are we at, like 95 ish Oh, 5 more dollars, let's just make 5 more dollars in here. Alright, this bin is just teasing me now, we are so close to the bottom. Pulled one up right here, very good rank actually, 58000 in music, but I'm only going to make $3, we're still $2 shy of breaking even. Come on, we're so close, we have just this small little pile right here. We have one Judas Priest, uh, Prince. I don't know, let's keep scanning. We did it, this guy, the outfield, all right. A uh, bit of a high rank, 369,000 music. So when I'm talking about ranks, I'm talking about that 369,000 or any other rank that I've said. With music, I like to stay at 300,000 or less. Um, but I will ship things in. Things do still sell at higher ranks. Uh, I know with books, I like to try and stay under like 1 million if I'm only going to make a few bucks on it. If I'm going to make $50 or so, then I'll shoot it up to 3 million, right? It's all about how much money you're projected to make versus how long it's going to sit. So this 369,000 in music. This can sit in Amazon's warehouse or on my shelf if I decide to sell it from home. Uh, it could potentially sit for six months, right? Before I get a sale on it. That's how long it could take to sell, but it's still a sale. 
and I'll make eight bucks on it. So let's just round everything down to $100. That is $100 worth of cassettes right here. And we still have another bin to go through underneath, plus this uh, shoe box under here, plus this. And then of course, a whole bunch that I didn't end up scanning, plus all the lots we could make. I'm assuming this first bin right here, I, this is $100 easy because this is stuff I just stick a label on and ship to Amazon or just list individually. So that's an easy 100 This stuff I have to work a little harder towards. So I might want to uh, lot up a whole bunch of rock cassettes. Just set it to auction on eBay starting at 20 bucks, right? If I do 20 of them or 10 of them starting at 20 bucks, you know, I'll make a buck or two each. Uh, they might go a little bit higher. People might bid them up and then I'm making money that way. But let's finish off this bin by scanning these last five. All right, Judas Priest. All right, there it is. Bit of a high rank again. Uh, 460,000 music, that's actually very high. This could take, you know, six months to a year to sell. And I'd only make 588. Now there's no Amazon Prime sellers. That actually can sometimes be the reason why the rank is so high. If I decide to sell this myself at 15, 20 dollars via Amazon Prime, I might get a sale within a month or so, right? People are more willing and more trusting to purchase off of Amazon Prime listings. It's just the way it is. So we could throw this in the list pile for now, even though the rank is so high. But that one doesn't have a barcode. This one does. And you know, some of these obviously just aren't gonna be worth anything, even if I lot them together. So some of these, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with them. Maybe I'll just re-donate them or something. If you guys have any better ideas, let me know. What is that? I don't know. Okay, last one. Prince and the Revolution. I have a feeling this might be worth at least five to ten dollars profit. Oh, no barcode. I'll type it in. All right, I just realized I thought it was called Prince the Revolution because I never listened to Prince, but it's actually Purple Rain, and I have heard of that. And here it is right here. Very good rank, 43,000 in music. Brand new selling for 53, you selling for 33. That is a $25 sale. Those are the ones we're looking for. There we go, we finished off the first bin strong, about $125 profit, paid $100 for all this. Now I did have to drive uh, 55 minutes away and 55 minutes back. Um, you know, gas and everything, gas is actually super cheap right now, it's only about a buck 50 a gallon. So if it costs me mm, maybe five, we'll even say $10 in gas, we're down to 115 bucks. So we are already making money on this lot. Very happy about that. Hopefully we have a bunch more in here. I wish there was just like 20 of these, but you know, you can't win them all. Here we go. And again, guys, I kind of just went into this blind. I didn't even look anything up. I just figured it'd be fun, something to do. And we got some REO Speedwagon. I love them. Uh, Elvis, usually not worth much. Queen, that might be good. Um, Van Halen, White Snake, not bad. Lots of Van Halen, actually, right here. That's all Van Halen. All right, start scanning. All right, so as I'm scanning through, I'm just moving them back. This Elvis one wasn't worth anything. I'm like, all right, yeah, all Elvis usually isn't worth anything. And then I scan this one right here. A little bit of a high rank, not horrible, 361 in music. But look at that used price, $35. Make another 25 on this. Here we go. These two, $50, just in these two cassettes. Insane. Let's keep scanning. Here's another Elvis. We'll just scan all the Elvis right now. Normally, Elvis is not worth anything at all. Look how slow and laggy my Amazon app is. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's over a million rank. That's bad. I would never send anything like that in, even if I'd make a thousand dollars. It's just not worth it because it means it'll never sell usually. Oh, here we go. A good one. Another $12 sale, 129,000 music. Make six bucks on it. Okay. Whoa. He almost came sliding out. Well, he did come sliding out. He almost went crashing to the floor. All right. Ah. Uh. All right, right after Elvis, we actually have another winner right here, this Quiet Riot. Let's see, decent rank, 92,000 in music. Uh, used coming at eight bucks, you'd make just about $3, but there's no FBA, so you could always charge a little bit more. Not bad. Footloose, 
I've sold this uh, record a couple times, actually. I believe. Uh, yeah, Footloose, right? I believe I have. Maybe the CD, I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, cassette's worth money, too. Here we go, 20 bucks. I'll make another $12. Okay, this bin right here has been pretty good. We have Queen the Game. Uh, no barcode. Deal with you later. All right, the Righteous Brothers. I know them. Maybe uh, they're worth something. It's only one way to find out. I highly doubt it. Well, it is their greatest hits. Usually greatest hits things can be worth money. This time, nothing. Look at that. Super high rank, no reviews. Use coming in, you'll make negative eight cents. <laughs> Pretty crazy. All right, Eddie Rabbit. No barcode. REO, here we go. Oh, no barcode. Oh, barcode on the front. I love REO. High rank, 464. Use coming in at 10. Make five bucks, and eh, that might be worth it to send in. That rank is pretty high. We'll just keep scanning. So I actually just sold a Kenny Rogers CD for like $80, and I didn't know why it was worth so much. Uh, and somebody had told me in the comments that he had just recently died, and that's why, you know, a lot of their things spike. Well, cassettes went up a little bit. 35,000 music, good rank. Coming in at 894, as you guys can almost see. There we go, 894. I'll make three bucks on it. It'll sell quick. It's a quick uh, three to four dollars profit. Just realized there's two more Kenny Rogers underneath. This one doesn't have a barcode. This one doesn't. But this is greatest hits, so I assume that they're worth money. These are things that you want to get listed right away. Otherwise, they'll end up not really being worth much in the long run. Let's see. The CD is selling for twenty-two bucks. Yeah, that's it's crazy. Uh, here's the cassette right here. Selling for $16.94. I'll make $9. Eh, it's a little inflated. Probably make another $5 on this one. Not bad. And then this one, we'll try and take a quick picture of it. There's the record, record. CD's going for $50. Holy moly. Uh, record's not showing up, but I, or cassette's not showing up, but I assume it's worth something, so we'll stick it in this pile. Keep scanning. All right, so here's something interesting. This isn't on Amazon, the very best of Alabama. It's a two tape set. There is one sold on eBay, 15 bucks, but that's brand new. Uh, the ones listed right now, and there's no other solds, the ones listed right now are individuals, and there's only four of them. So the only ones that are up here, uh, one from Canada, $5, $5, and $8. So I think I'm just gonna list mine for 15 bucks on eBay for the pair, see what happens. Got another winner here, Black Sabbath. Look at that, 268, little high music, but not horrible. $13.99, eight bucks. Guys, this buy has turned out to be pretty good so far. I think I've pretty much almost almost doubled my money. Still have a lot to scan, and of course, all these lots I'm going to build. So I think this is gonna be a great buy. Keep scanning. All right, so I just finished going through both bins completely. Again, you know, like I said, I didn't scan everything. I only went through the easy stuff first. Uh, the stuff without barcodes, I didn't bother with most of them and other things that just weren't showing up. I just didn't look up on eBay completely, but this stuff's all going to Amazon. That's gonna be eBay. Now on to the shoe box. All right, out of the shoe box, this is all I pulled that was good. We had another one of those David Bowie's, so that's about 12 to $15. This Carpenter's brand new sealed, selling for about 25. Uh, Eric Clapton, I'll only make like three to five. And then the Eagles, I'll make about 10. So not bad out of that shoe box right there. And the last thing we have is this right here, but this is all singles. This stuff wouldn't really do well on Amazon. This is more of an eBay thing. Same thing with these records right here. So after all is said and done, I think I'm going to easily, this stuff easily profits at least $150. Um, I spent 100, make 150. All of this, we're gonna do lots. We're gonna do, you know, check up all the ones without barcodes, especially on eBay, things like that. Maybe, you know, I could get, you know, eight to 10 bucks for a few of them, free shipping. It only cost me about 280 to ship. So, you know, if I could profit about five bucks each on a few of these, that's great. I'd rather do lots and just move them. So if you guys check out my eBay store, links down below, I should have hopefully a few of these listed up. Uh, if not, keep checking periodically. I think I'm just gonna do some big rock lots, some just random lots of 10 to 20 of them, set them to auction starting at like 10 bucks or something like that. We'll see what happens. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video.
If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.